This is Project 3.1 on page 72 of your book, Design a Type Driven Poster. This is an example only. Please do not duplicate what I am doing. I want you to visit the websites, select what you're going to create, and create your own poster. We are doing this as a 5x7 paper, and I will show you what you need to do to save this out so you can post this. What I found was that you can shorten your flu symptoms if you take a doctor prescribed antiviral drug. So that's what I have selected to do mine on. And the first thing that I've done is I want to get people's attention and say flu, really big. And I may change the color of this, but I want to show you something that you can do with touch type. With touch type, I can select a piece of type and I can make changes to it. If you notice all of the different items available, I can scale text larger, I can scale it narrower, I can move it around, I can relocate it if I want to. So I have choices that I can make with this. It's still text. I have not turned this into a graphic item. I'm going to increase the size of my text. I'm going to select a font that has more presence. I don't think this is a thick enough font and I'm not wanting to use another display type. And maybe instead of two, I would like to use an M dash. Oh, wrong thing. If I put in two hyphens, I can go to type and I can do smart punctuation which will change to an M dash. And I want to take your doctor prescribed antiviral prescription on separate lines. And I can put in my returns wherever I would like to make them. Now I'd like to have something else in the background. And so I am going to create a prescription RX symbol, which I don't have. And I will show you how I'm doing that. Just kind of watch and watch what, I've, what I'm doing. That was a control click to, so that I could put my text in a new location. Now those don't quite go together, do they? What I would like to do is take my R and, ex and turn this into outlines. And then, let me zoom in so I can show you what I'm doing. I am going to pick up my direct selection tool and select the R leg and pull this down so that it's longer. I can then pick up my X, which I can see now isn't nearly big enough. I'm going in with my selection tool and I'm going to enlarge it. I'll hold down my shift key to keep my proportions if I'd like. And I can now make the X bigger. Now, I don't need that to be quite as large as the R, and I would like it to still fit fairly well. So there, make sure that that fits on top. And what I would like to do on that is I want to join that with the R and make it all one image. So I'm going to go to Type again, and I'm going to again create outlines. 
And now I will pick up both my R and my X, and I'm going to go into my Pathfinder, and I'm going to Unite. That's going to change that into a single graphic that I can then place where I would like to on my poster. I'm going to color this a different color. I'd like it into uh, cyan because I think that will work very well. I also want it much larger than this, so I'm going to expand it. And I want to rotate it because it's not the most prominent thing. It is still text, but it still is not the most prominent item. I'm going to overlap it so that it bleeds off the page and then go to Object, Arrange, and Send to Back. Now, I like this, but I still want something that's going to be a little more prominent, uh, uh, a little more text in there, but also something that's going to borderline on being a graphic. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a pill bottle. And to do that, I'm going to create a rectangle. And I'm going to fill that with a light orange color because most pill bottles are that color. And then I am going to again type the text flu. And I want that to be in a, oh, let's see, I want that to be in a lighter shade. So I will go up to my tints and, and tones and I will pick a tint of that color. And I want to rotate that. I'll hold my shift key down to hold it correct. And I'm going to bring that over the top of my rectangle because I'm going to warp both of these together. So now I have both of those items both my text and my rectangle. I'm going to select both of them and I need to deselect my text, uh, my text box. I don't want to pick that up. So I simply held down my shift key to select the text, which would in effect deselect it. And I am going to go to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Mesh. I only need a single row on this. So I'm going to select one row and I only need two columns. What that's going to do is create this kind of a shape and I can then pick up my direct selection tool and with that I'm going to select, oh let me do something else here. I'm going to take my type and I'm going to lock that object lock then I don't have to worry about picking it up. Now with my direct selection tool, I can select the two center posts and I'm going to drag those down. I want to warp this to make it look like it's a tube, like you put pills in from the doctor and I can then grab these handles and I can smooth my curves very easily. I have this created out of text. The next thing I want to do is put a circle at the top so it looks like it's a pill bottle. So I will go grab my ellipse tool and I'm going to put an ellipse at the top, just like that. And I will color that with a darker tone so that it looks like it's on the inside. Well, that's pretty nice. I'm kind of happy with that. Well, let me just move that down on my page a little bit. I can now resize that and make that a little bit larger. It's simply using a simple shape, but it's mostly using text. And because I want to emphasize that there should be something with that prescription, I am going to type the, some text that says antiviral.
and because I would like to make this look like um, something that is a a pill. I'm going to squish this down. Yes, I am doing all kinds of terrible things to the type. I'm going to color this as if it was a uh, a capsule from the doctor's office and so I want to make half of it orange and I want to make half of it a bright yellow and now I have my text but it doesn't do much does it so the next thing I want to do is I want to create a shape and I'm going to make a, a pill shape or a capsule shape by creating a circle and let me move that over I want to duplicate that I'm going to hold my alt key down and my shift key so I get it to go long and I'm going to then create a rectangle to go between the two items selecting all three of those I will again go to my pathfinder and unite and I'm going to turn this to an outline so that we can see what's going on. I'm going to drag my pill shape over the top of my text, grab both of those items, and I am going to go to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. And I now have my capsule that says antiviral. If I'd like to, I could even duplicate that and rotate it a little bit and set it with that so it looks like there are more than one pill laying here. And there is my poster. Now your challenge is to make yours. To upload your poster, if you weren't sure about how to do that, you're going to go to File and, of course, save this for your records. But we are going to go to Export, Export As. And I'm going to select to turn this into a JPEG. And I, if I have more than one artboard, please use the artboards and select the artboard that you're going to use. Name this whatever's going to mean something to you as far as the name of your poster. I'm going to call mine flu and I'm going to put my initials on it and save the JPEG. When I hit export it's going to save it out. Make sure that your color model is set to RGB. You can do a low quality file and say OK. To upload this into Canvas you're going to need to go to your files. You can then upload a new file. Once your file has been uploaded, you can go to your discussions. Once you're in your discussion and you've created your post, you can then embed your image by selecting embed, go into Canvas to your files or your course files depending on where you saved it. And remember what you've called it and you'll be then able to upload your image from your files. Okay? And don't forget to upload into the lesson for grading as well.